Bam. Mother Nature just dropped a not-so-friendly reminder on September 30th, 2025 in Cebu, Philippines. A powerful earthquake rattled the island like a coin jar in the backseat of a speeding tricycle. This was no mild tremor nonsense. This was the real deal, the kind that makes buildings sway like drunk uncles at a fiesta. Now let's get one thing straight. Earthquakes happen because tectonic plates grind against each other like two stubborn kids fighting over the last slice of pizza. And Cebu sits right in the ring of fire, that fiery stretch around the Pacific, where quakes and volcanoes are as common as karaoke machines. Scientists from Five Volks have been warning for years that these faults are locked and loaded. And boy, did they just prove their point. Here is the kicker. According to research, Around 80% of casualties in major quakes are not from the ground shaking itself, but from collapsing buildings and falling debris. Yup, it is not the earth that gets you, it is your darn roof deciding to play whack-a-mole. That is why earthquake-ready infrastructure is not some optional luxury, it is literally the difference between life and death. Now I know some people will say, earthquakes cannot be predicted, and sure, you cannot slap a calendar reminder on Mother Earth. But studies show that countries with strong quake prep like Japan have dramatically lower casualties compared to places that skimp on safety. Translation. Practice drills, retrofitted buildings, and emergency kits are boring until they save your butt. And let's not forget aftershocks. These little jerks are like the annoying sequels nobody asked for, sometimes popping up days or even weeks later. People get lulled into thinking the danger is over, and then wham, your cupboard launches canned goods like it is auditioning for a food fight championship. Bottom line, Cebu just got one heck of a wake-up call. Nature does not play favorites, and crap happens when we are not prepared. So if you live in quake zones, take notes, because science already gave us the manual. The only question is whether we are smart enough to follow it or whether we keep learning the hard way. Stay safe, stay smart, and for goodness sake, bolt that furniture down.